guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm feeling sick. It's like the transitional weather that's making me feel like icky and gross. So if I sound sick I can only apologise but I'm feeling so gross. But I had to film this video because otherwise, otherwise I just never do it. But today pushing aside how I feel, today I have got a massive super drug haul. It's absolutely huge. I'm kind of disgusted in the amount I bought. Um, <laughs> but let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I bought were the Makeup Revolution Pressed Glitter Palettes. I got all three because I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. Um, I actually did this haul about three, three or four days ago, but this one came broken and I didn't realise and had to take it back to the shop and they didn't have one and had to order it online. It was just like a whole thing, so yeah i've been waiting to film this haul for about a week now but i've got the pressed glitter palette in abracadabra which is the black one with all of the colorful glitters in it like so i got the one called hot pursuit which is the red packaging with all of the really warm tones in there like so and then i got the midas touch one which is kind of like kind of goldy coppery tones don't know if you can actually see that like there the only thing that annoys me about these palettes like the packaging is that they don't have the name on the back like you have to rely on the slip which is kind of annoying i don't really want to keep this plastic crappy slip and i just kind of wanted it to be on the back but apart from that look how beautiful this packaging is it's all beautiful and gold glittery it's just they are stunning they are absolutely stunning so if you want a separate video on these just say but if not i probably just will incorporate them into a look that i do i mean if these palettes are good they're well worth the money because they were only 10 pounds each um so yeah i really do want to play around with these the packaging is beautiful the colors are beautiful um it's just down to the formula i think um if it's good or not so yeah i really do want to play around with these as far as prices go today um, i'm trying to ping up on the screen the bottom right hand corner or left hand corner somewhere just because if i'm incorrect then at least you have the true pricing of it on the screen um, and I'll also put it down in the description bar below so you can see it and you know what it's called. And the next thing I got are my favourite dry shampoos. Um, I normally get the Beautiful Brunette one which is a shade lighter than this but this is the Batiste um, Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo plus the Hint of Colour Divine Dark. It just looks like this, very cool packaging. It does actually come out this colour which is what I really really like about this dry shampoo. It's usually about mm, £3-ish um, but yeah Super Drug had loads of promotional offers on so I bought two um, because I really really like it and it's just a must. Dry shampoo is a must. The next thing that is a must is my Garnier Micellar Water Gel. Micellar Water? Micellar Cleansing Gel. I absolutely love this stuff, cannot recommend it enough. Um, I personally use this for cleaning my brushes, um, like my makeup brushes. I also use it to wash my face. I will use it as the initial makeup remover, not as like a cleanser or anything, but I have one of those magic eraser cloth things um, and I just squirt a little bit of this onto that so I'm not dragging it across my face. Um, I really, really love this. It's usually like, it's usually four pounds, but you can definitely catch it on a bargain. Um, I paid like, £2.50 each I think it was for these. It's an absolute lifesaver and it is the cheapest way to clean your brushes. If you just wanted this to wash your brushes, just one little like bottle will last you so so long so you only need like a pea size amount for every brush and for eye brushes even less so highly recommend this to clean your brushes it's amazing. I got some more Makeup Revolution palettes there's a lot of Makeup Revolution stuff in this haul by the way because I, I, there was too much there that I needed. I got the Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose palette and the Reloaded Visionary palette because these are kind of dupes for the Norvina and the Soft Glam palette from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't have those palettes. I have got the ABH Mon Renaissance palette and I absolutely love that. Um, and I did have eyes set on the Soft Glam and I had eyes set on the Norvina palette. However, I was like, do I need them? Probably not. Like, I probably don't need these colours in my collection. I already have them elsewhere in other palettes i was kind of like i kind of want these palettes really badly but i know i don't need them so i thought i'd go for the cheaper alternative these are basically exactly the same as the abh layout um every single color corresponds with the abh palettes so i thought if i really really like the color sort of sequences and i really go to these palettes then i could invest in the abh palette but then if i don't really pick these up then obviously i don't need to waste my money spending 40 pounds on a palette when i could just spend four because these are only four quid so i feel like i've not lost anything by picking these up and they're really really beautiful this is a really beautiful neutral palette and i feel like i'd definitely be picking this up i just feel like if i don't start gravitating towards this then it definitely tells me that i don't need the norvina palette you get me 
So guess what? Rimmel came out with some blushes. Now, I love the Rimmel blushes and it's like Santa Rose and it's like this big. All of their blushes, well, the blushes that I like were so small, like their powder blushes, but they've recently reformulated and come out with these maxi blushes. There's actually only four blushes. I thought there was more because the numbers say 06, 03, 01 and 04. So I don't know if there's like a two or a five anywhere, but there was only four from what I could see. I did go on the website and there was nothing on the website, so I'm not quite sure. So the shades I got were 006 Exposed, which is this really like neutral, kind of like mauvey rosy shade. Um, and this is the first time I'm swatching them. They feel really, really beautiful. Um, okay, that's really, really wearable. Really, really wearable. Can you just see that there? It's really like an everyday blush. They seem to blend out really, really nicely and they're really, really soft. So I'd love to try these on my cheeks. The next shade I have here is more of a peachy apricot shade. This is 004 Sweet Cheeks. Again, it feels just the same sort of formula. Really, really smooth, really silky. I would say these aren't matte. I would say these are more of a satin blush, um, which I personally prefer because it makes the cheeks a little bit more, not shiny, but more like full of life, you know? So that's Sweet Cheeks there. Again, very, very wearable. Very like a peachy apricot sort of blush. This next one is the only one with a little bit of shimmer in. This is 001 Third Base. I would say it's just like a true rosy pink. Um, and like I said, it's got like this hint of gold glitter running through it, but you can't actually see it once you swatch it on the hand. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's definitely more of a sheeny, sheeny blush. A sheeny, sheeny blush. <laughs> um, it kind of just reflects the light really beautifully, so I would probably layer this with a darker blush, possibly like one of these two, and then pop this on the top because it's really sheening in the light. It's very, very beautiful, very subtle, um, and more of a baby pink actually now that I look at it rather than a rosy pink, but... Yeah, it's really different. I really like that. And that's going to really reflect the light nicely. And then the last blush is this very, very berry colour. And um, this is 003 Wild Cards. Very bright, very audacious. So that's 003 Wild Cards there. Again, a very wearable blush, actually. It's not too, like, audacious, but it's a lovely berry-toned blush. The sort of blush I wouldn't go any deeper with, but it's a really, really beautiful tone. Just like all four, to be honest. They're all really beautiful tones. Very, very wearable. And I would say very... I would say they're very wearable for all skin tones, actually, because they're so muted and so beautiful and they're not too um like loud they're not too bright and they're not too pale either they're very diverse in the colors which means that every skin tone can kind of find their blush shade i guess i'll be honest i don't actually know how much these were so like i said it'll be popping up the screen somewhere um but i don't think it'll be expensive because well, it's rimmel can't be that expensive can it I picked up some toothpaste. I got the Oral B 3D White Luxe Perfection toothpaste. This is about four quid, which is quite expensive, but um, whenever it's on offer, like a three for two or anything like that, or two for the price of one, which it was here, I think it was, I can't remember, um, I always pick these up in bulk because I love them so much. I find that they're not too minty, but they're minty enough to make me feel fresh in the mouth. Um, they whiten my teeth nicely. I feel like they keep my teeth white anyway. Um, and it just kind of feels clean in my mouth, you know? I just I just really like this toothpaste. I don't know why. I think it's better than Colgate. And the next thing I've got I'm very excited about. I got the Revolution Conceal Undefined Foundation. Um, I picked up three shades because I didn't know what shade I was. I'm definitely, definitely not F7 or F8.5 because these are horrifically dark for me. Actually, no. They kind of like the right undertone, so I'm not quite sure. But I got F6, I got F8.5, and I got F7, so I might have to mix and match with these um, a little bit. But the packaging is really, really luxe. It's like glass with a doe foot applicator. But I really, really want to do a video on these um, and say my first impressions and a kind of a wear test, so I could incorporate some other products that I've mentioned here today in that, just to kind of do a bit of a killing two birds with one stone if you know what I mean. I think this was only like nine or ten pounds but um let's open it because I haven't actually opened it to have a look at it yet so it could be really weird looking. Let's have a look. Oh okay this shade actually looks like a perfect shade for me. This is F6 so okay. Ooh I don't want to say what my impressions are at first because I really want to do a video on this separately. Oh that feels really nice really creamy and really full coverage. Look how full coverage that is. Maybe it's a little bit too light for me but wow I'm excited to try these out. Yes, yes. I picked up some Q-Tex nail polish remover. Now, I love this nail polish remover so, so much because it doesn't dry out my nails. It smells nice. It's not too acetone-y. 
Um, it just makes them feel quite nourished in comparison to other nail polish removers. I don't feel like the life has been sucked out of them once I've taken my nail polish off, which I desperately need to do. Um, so yeah, I just really, really like this. I've picked up different ones in the past as well, ones with like jojoba oil in and things like that. Yeah, it's kind of got like oils in it to make your nails feel more nourished. This is about £3, again, you can catch it on offer. I always do. I never pay full price for anything unless I desperately need it, so yeah, nail polish remover. I picked up these little guys just because they really, really intrigued me. This is by MUA. I love MUA as a brand. I think they are very competitive with what they do. I think they're very similar to Makeup Revolution or Revolution in the sense that they are creating makeup at a very, very low price and they're actually really quite good quality. So I actually really, really love MUA as a brand. Um, and they've released these Pro Base softening like facial oil sticks and this Soothe and Cool primer stick. Um, and it reminded me of the milk makeup. I don't know why, it just reminded me of like the milk makeup sort of makeup, I guess. <laughs> but I don't have anything like this. And of course, I am very, very dry skinned, as many of you will know. I don't know, I thought the softening facial oil stick would be really good before matte makeup, like around the areas that I get really dry. Um, and the Soothe and Cool Primer stick would be really good just before any old makeup because it says instant hydration in the stick. And this one says solid facial oil and it's, it's definitely a primer it says this primer oil is perfect to add instant hydration so i picked up these two i think these were about five pounds each um there was like a pore filling one as well but i don't typically like those just because they're very full of dimethicone and it kind of makes my face look really cakey and drier so yeah, I didn't pick that one up, but there is that one available if you would like it. I picked up this stuff, which is for weak nails. Um, it's like a strength serum. It's just by Superdrug's own. It's like three pounds. Um, it says, nails are stronger in one week with strengthening pro vitamin B5. And it just comes in like this little squeezy tube, just like this. And you kind of just sort of squirt it onto your fingernails, just like so like that. And then you just kind of rub it into the cuticle. Um, it smells really, really nice. It smells really sort of like feminine really i don't know just smells it smells good it smells good for you it smells full of vitamins um my nails break like a biatch and i really want to stop them from doing that i always find that my thumb and my finger like my index finger always break first um i have no idea why my thumb is particularly prone at just breaking off for some reason but yeah i just thought i'd try this out for three pounds can't do too much harm can it hopefully I picked up another foundation, which is the Bimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is not a new foundation by any means. Um, I actually had this foundation quite a while back, and I was like, Do you know what, I miss that foundation quite a lot. Like, I remember being quite good and quite hydrating, um, so I thought I'd pick it up again. I've got mine in the shade 100 Ivory, and again, this is about £8, £8, £9, something like that. Um, yeah, it does say 24-hour moisture hydration and pore blurring effect, so I thought I'd just pick this up and try it again, because I haven't played with it in a while, probably since secondary school so um yeah that was about f how many years ago was that like six years ago something like that so yeah thought I'd try it again I got some cute little nail polishes I don't need new nail polishes by any means I actually went in to get like a top coat base coat because I was running out but um Barry M released their new autumn colors I've got one in the shade spearmint and one in the shade nutmeg just because they're really pretty colours. I thought this was a really nice tealy autumn colour. And this is a really nice nude colour. Really nice and warm, not too cool toned. Um, and I picked up this coconut infusion one in the shade Laguna. Which is like a periwinkle sky blue. I don't know if the light's picking it up. As you can tell, I'm just getting sicker and sicker by the minute. Which is really great. And then I wanted to try one of their under the sea nail paints. Which are kind of like these iridescent shell looking things. And I got this in the shade Butterfly Fish. And it's just like this iridescent like blue with purple and pink um yeah it's just like a really cool shade i don't know i kind of really liked it so i thought i'd pick it up oh and i also picked up a base coat top coat of nail hardener all in one nothing much said about this these were all roughly about four pounds each but i got them on a deal like i said it was like a three for two wait where's my other one gone i think i had another nail serum -y one like the um eight in one manny which is like purple i don't know where that's gone but I swear to god I bought that. But yeah, nail polish. I picked up the Soph Extra Spice Palette because I really, really like Soph's first palette. I think it was really done well um, and very, very wearable, very travel friendly. So basically inside we have the reverse of what her old palette was. So originally it was sort of this colour with this shiny stuff in her name. But now it's the opposite, which is kind of cool, I guess. You have a very, very generous mirror in here. I mean, considering the size of the palette itself, this is a very big mirror. And then inside we have all of these beautiful, beautiful colours. This is very um, 
me, I'd say that the name Extra Spice is a perfect, perfect name for this palette because it is that extra spice to your makeup collection. You don't necessarily need these colours, they're not essentials, but if you want to spice up your look or add a bit of that extra spice to your look, then this is the perfect palette for it and I really, really like it. I think the shade Infinity really grabbed my eyes. It's like this beautiful silver. Like, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. And the way they swatch for the price is just like on another level. Like this matte yellow is beautiful. I don't know if you can actually see that from this far away, but let's do it like another one. Here's another gold. Like they're so creamy and beautiful and buttery. I just think they're so beautiful. So cannot wait to play around with that. I really want to put that all over my face, specifically my eyes, hopefully not across my whole face. Getting to the last few things now, I picked up this Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I got this in the shade C2. This is just their new concealer. Um, it just kind of looks a little bit like the Maybelline Age Rewind, which leads perfectly onto what I got next, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. Love, love, love this concealer. I've been out of it for quite a while, so I thought I'd just pick another one up. This is like eight pounds, um, and this was, I want to say this was six pounds. I'm not quite sure, is it six or four pounds? I'm not quite sure, again, it'll be on the screen. I kind of wanted to see which one was better because they kind of got the same concept. So I think I'm gonna put one on one eye and one on the other and kind of like have a battle out of the concealers. You guys, I'm sorry that this video is all over the place. I feel like someone could just rip my head off now and I would feel a whole lot better. I did say there'd be a lot of Makeup Revolution stuff in this haul. Um, I've got the Revolution Face Quad in Incandescent. Um, this is basically a highlighting quad. I don't own a lot of Makeup Revolution highlighters. I think I own the Sofa palette and that's about it, but they looked really, really nice. So I thought I'd just swatch them here for you. They look really sheeny and really beautiful. And um, there is a darker one, like a darker palette for deeper skin tones, but look how metallic and beautiful those highlighters are. Like. They're just so reflective, so I thought this would be really cool to have my collection. Um, the deeper one in here probably wouldn't be my shade necessarily, but I mean it's definitely not my shade at all, but that could definitely be an eyeshadow topper or just something like that for the eyes. Um, this was about £10 as well I think, so yeah, I thought some more highlighters were necessary obviously. Okay, I promise this is the last thing for Makeup Revolution, but this is the Revolution Maxi I can't say her name, I'm going to really butcher this Maxinexa Maxinexka, I'm not quite sure, but she created like this travel palette, which I really, really like, um, and I thought it would be perfect to going to my boyfriend's house, just because I, it's like an all-in-one face palette. It comes with a nice size mirror here, and then a blusher, a bronzer, a highlighter, and nine eyeshadows. Um, I just thought this was a really, really nice travel palette. I really want to swatch it, because I haven't as of yet. So, wow, those powders are really creamy. I wouldn't say the highlighter is the best I've ever seen. It's more of a natural glow than anything else. The highlighter is just there. Can you see what I mean? It's more of a natural sheen rather than a highlighter for me. Um, the blush is very blushy, but you could easily blend that out. Um, and the bronzer is a really good sort of shade as well. And again, I just thought it would be a really, really good travel palette just because it's kind of got like pops of colour here, but really neutral shades here. So you've got like these beautiful sort of metallics in the centre here. And then this really pop of sort of purple as well. So I thought it was really cool. And just like all Makeup Revolution shades, these are all really, really consistent, really beautiful. I don't know if you can see it from this far back, but I'm so sick I can't be bothered to move. Um, but yeah, really, really beautiful shades. I'm really excited to try this out. I might take this tonight to my boyfriend's house to try it on my face because I think it was only like £10. And I think £10 for nine eyeshadows, a contour, uh, like bronze, a colour, a highlight and a blush is bloody bloody good and you get a mirror so you know if you're just having a one nighter somewhere and you just wanted something to put on your face for the next day and you weren't bothered then this is quite a good palette I think I haven't tried it yet but it looks like a good one and then lastly thank god lastly because I'm getting sicker and sicker by the minute we have the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation now I bought this thinking this is gonna be the best foundation the Maybelline Superstay Longwear 24 hour super stay foundation that's liquid is really really amazing it's a matte foundation but it's kind of good on both dry and oily skin from what i've heard um and it works super well for me and i am a dry skin girl so i was really excited to try this out i got mine in the shade 010 ivory i believe yeah um and i was really excited to try this out but then i saw i think it was tarty talk about how crap this was are you sh are you kidding me guys look how much product you get in this is that a joke? I think I get more product in my Hourglass foundation. That's like £45. Is that a joke? There's 7.5 grams of product, but it definitely doesn't look like it. It must be like all in there, which would be really crap if it is. But yeah, I think Tarty or someone like that said it was absolute pants. So 
I don't know, I'm going to try it out and see what I think, but I, I will not be using this weird sponge on the end of it. I think it was like eight or nine pounds, but I really, really want to try it. I want to see what it's like in comparison with the Superstay foundation, like the liquid one. So I might do half and half, something like that. Tell me if you want it. I don't know. Do you want these sorts of videos? Because I don't mind making them. And that is it, you guys. Sorry that it's been such a rushed video and kind of a bit of a shambles and that I sound so gross. But I just knew that if I got any worse this week, then I just wouldn't be able to film it at all. And I have got to go to work. I do work a full week. Um, you know, this isn't my job or anything. It is my hobby. So I knew that I had to get this sort of in the bag before I felt any worse because... As you can tell, I sound ridiculous. I just sound so gross right now. So sorry that you've had to listen to me like this um, and sorry that it's been so rushed. Like I said, I have only skimmed over these products. I haven't been swatching really at all today. So if there's anything you want to see in more detail, please do not hesitate to pop that in the comments and I will do that for you, don't worry. I will do it for you. I'll do a whole separate video on it if you want me to, I don't mind. Normally what I'll do with these sorts of things is I'll have a video of mine, like the Super Safe Foundation. I kind of want to do half the liquid, half the stick. Um, but if there is something that you want to see featured specifically, I'm more than happy to do that. If not, I'll probably just bundle them all into a first impressions, something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I feel so nasally. I need like a steamer on my face. Um, and I think I'm gonna have potatoes for dinner just to make me feel good thank you guys so much for watching i really really do appreciate it hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed today's video even though i've sounded like a walking disaster hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join my little family you know you want to hit the bell for videos every wednesday and saturday that is when i upload every wednesday and saturday not a specific time but you know whenever your girl can upload i try to you know thank you guys once again for watching it really does mean the world to me and i will see you in my next one bye these or um <gasps> no absolutely not absolutely not this is ridiculous one of the glitters has just fallen out no it looks like a little tablet has just fallen out oh man i mean where's that thing gone this is this hall is a freaking disaster already Pim i can't breathe probably this camera's not focusing I'm not feeling well, just focus. I want like, I want, <laughs> so guess what? Barry M, no, <laughs> I got the oral by, oral by? It's like my finger and my thumb, my <laughs> sort of nude and this one was, <sighs> I can't film today. I feel sick, so sick. Um, and I got this in the shade of butter jellyfish, butterfly fish even. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I thought I would, motorbike just go away i'm not the mood oh i'm gonna go now because um i feel like death has crept up on me like a mofo <coughs> um i think it's not fair that i feel this way and i demand a recount <laughs>